today I'm going to show you this is a Optiplex 9020, the 9010, the 7010, 720. They should all be the same. What we're going to do, we're going to put a secret fan in here. It's 120 millimeter, just like that, because we're turning this into a gaming PC. So, and it's gonna be gonna be uh, stealth. You won't see it at all. So let's get started. Low battery. All right. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to take these tabs and lightly just kind of release them. You gotta be very careful. There, this is an old computer, so they're kind of brittle. There you go. Now you can take that right off. Now if you look through here, even though my son's is dirty, you can see you have a nice built-in screen here. So the only thing stopping you from putting a big fan here is this. And if you're running a small hard drive or SSD, you don't need this anyway. So I'm going to show you how to remove this. So, there's a rivet here. You're going to need a, a decent sized drill bit. Give me that. I got it. So, what we're going to do, there's a, these small rivets right here. We're going to take this one and get rid of it. Just like that. There is one. There's. Yeah, there's two in here. And these little uh, dots, you gotta drill those out. As you can see, it releases it as you drill it. Of course, I had to prick myself. Be careful when you're drilling, it makes everything kind of sharp. And then there's three right here. So we'll drill these out. See the tray is already getting kind of loose. Now there's a few on the bottom here. So you're gonna release this one. This one. See my drill bit's getting kind of dull. Dull, yeah. And then I believe this one too, yeah. Missed. Alright, so that should be all of the rivets that you need. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And what you're going to do is grab a flathead screwdriver and you're going to have to kind of slowly work it off the metal by sticking it behind here. And you can kind of pry a bit. Um, yeah. It should pop right out. Actually, you got two more rivets down there. I don't know if you're going to be able to get to them. They're actually holding the thing together right here. I'll show you. There's a rivet there, that little hole, and right there, that little hole. So, those are going to be kind of tricky. Um, you're not, you're probably not going to have a drill bit that'll fit down in there. So what you can do is kind of rock it a bit. 
You gotta be careful though, cause your hand, you, you'll get, you'll get busted up. Um, so what I'm gonna use is uh, fresh bullets. So I just got a basic pry bar, and I'm just gonna try to pop that loose. It might be a little difficult. Just make sure you don't hit your motherboard. There we go. And you pop that out just like that. Disconnect your wires. Disconnect your speaker. And these are the rivets. There's actually four. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six that you actually have to break. They're right here. Um, so you're going to take your thermometer out. I just you push these two clips. Now you're going to want to get all this stuff out of the way. Alternatively, you can take the motherboard out. Make sure you get all the rivets out. There we go. As you can see, some of the, the, the bottoms and the tops will pop off. Basically, you want to shake it around, make sure there's nothing in there. Uh, obviously, hold the loose stuff in your hand. Give it a nice little shake, and then you're good. So now what we're going to do, is we'll take our 120 millimeter fan, and we'll bring it right down. You see like uh, where these two lines start? So that's where you're going to want to be roughly well actually go with uh this is your top of your fan the, the top of this so you'll line it up just like that make sure you're nice and even and then what we'll do is we'll we'll trace that just like that Did I go higher on brands? I don't think so, right? No. No. Yeah, it's pretty much even there. Yeah, because look, it's just below like that line of dots there. Yeah, I think I went a little bit higher, so... I think I went... I think it went lower. No. Alright, so yeah, I went... Even with these dots. So we'll go right here. And right here. Yeah, that looks, that looks about right. Okay, so now you have your uh, line. This is your outline. Let me get rid of the other one, press pause. Alright, if you mess up like I did, you can take off your line with some um, alcohol and a Q-tip. So now, the, what you're going to do, as you can see, we're pretty much, you know, it doesn't have to be perfectly traced or anything, but you're going to look, uh, it looks pretty good. So you could see the mounting holes. I have new fans. This is just, I'm waiting for them to come in the mail. I'm not putting this exact fan in, but it's the exact same size. So what we're going to do... If I cut this hole, you won't have nothing to mount to. So what you're going to do is you're going to come down about even with these dots, just like this. And then for here, you're going to come down pretty much even with these dots on both sides. 
and then it looks like I went right through here so you're gonna kind of go through half of the dots here then you're gonna take your fan and you're gonna put it on there and you should see your square perfectly all the way around which it looks like I can so now when we cut, it's going to leave metal here, 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 and here, so we can screw the fan in. So, well, you know, if you want to be nice and professional about this, you can use a ruler or whatever you want. But the objective is this, is to put a gaming card in it, but still put this on. When this is on, it looks like a stock... Uh, optiplex but when you take this off it'll have a huge 120 millimeter fan and you're gonna want it uh, sucking air in from the front sucking and blowing from the rear <laughs> all right so now we're gonna cut it Press close. so you're gonna need um, you can use a Dremel with a cutoff wheel I'm gonna use this because it's faster so we're going to cut it and uh, I'll show you. All right. So now that you have a cut, now we'll do a test fit. You can see how much room you have here now in the back. Make sure you get rid of any uh, loose metal. Usually you can just grab it and wiggle it, it'll break. Same thing with this little tab here. See this little tab? This you can break off, it's going to be in the way of the fan anyway. As you can see, we'll put the fan right on the bottom. You can see it has plenty of uh, you have plenty of options to screw. There's a bunch of holes that you can already use. And uh, now what you'll be able to do is even with this fan connected, you'll be able to put your face right back on. So you'll be able to put this right back on like this. And this goes on, uh, you see there's like little hooks. You hook the side of the face on first and bring it down. It'll clip in. And as you can see, you can put your fan right in there and no one will be the wiser. And you'll have massive amount of airflow going through this. Now the most important part of this whole entire process, after you get done with this, you need to get a high powered air compressor. I should have told you that in the beginning of the video. But you're going to want to blow this out really, really good. I'm not really too worried about it because I'm going to be taking the power supply out. I'm going to be taking the old tiny graphics card out. Um, I'm going to be taking out... Uh, a lot of different things so I'm not really too worried about it uh, what I'm gonna do is blow this out real good and I'll show you that when the air compressor charges up alright so like I said make sure you have a, a really big air compressor um, now we're gonna get rid of all the we're gonna get rid of all the dust And things that were when you're when you're doing this make sure you hold your thermometer and this in your hand you don't want it flying around Thank you. 
All right, now that you have it nice and clean, what you're gonna do with your with your uh, speaker here, is you can take some hot glue and uh, put a very small dab of hot glue right here, and then just mount it right there like that with some hot glue, just like that. Same thing with the thermometer. You're gonna take some hot glue. And I would mount the thermometer kind of a little bit high, right about there with the speaker. That way it's out of the way. And then for your hard drive, just put a little double-sided tape. And you can stick your hard drive down here wherever you want. Now, now you'll have room to put a huge, I mean, you could put, you could put one of those huge ones in there now. Um, so, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'll show you what it what it looks like when we get all the parts back in and uh that's pretty much it all right i did notice that when you put the the face back on i see i have glued these already these are up here nice and glued uh you are gonna have to cut these plastic uh tabs give me that other face these plastic tabs right here they uh stick out a bit so you can just grab them with a pair of pliers or dykes, cut them right off, or you could you could saw them off with the same thing that you cut the case with. But uh, those are going to have to move because they're going to be hitting the uh, fan blades. Other than that, though, pretty nice mod. Uh, all right, so this is it. Once you get it all set up, obviously, like I said, you're probably going to be doing it for. Um, upgrading the PC so that's what it has in it there's the fan that we installed and then that is the power supply and if you are going to do this you do have to get this adapter it's a six prong yeah six prong to 24 pin adapter if you're going to upgrade the power supply and I'll show you the uh, fan what it looks like hold that as you can see the fan is flowing and that will get plugged in with one of the plugs from the power supply um, if you're doing it on a stock system which I don't know why you would you'd have to cut into the wires find out a 12 volt source but uh, yeah this is how you keep your PC nice and cool and stock looking so I'll put it back together, I'll show you what it looks like stock. And there you go. It looks like a regular old Dell PC. You can kind of see in there with the light, but not really. It's already got dust on it, but... Yeah, it looks like just a regular old Dell PC.